Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Feelers, and this is part nine of my powerful toolbar series. This should be a quick one. Uh, it's something very simple, but it's interesting to see how it works. So let's get started. So let's talk about this whole section up here on top. I created a bunch of different layers and it's a, lo a large stack. Of course, you're not going to have all diamonds. You'll have all different kinds of shapes and they'll be hidden behind each other and you don't know always where they are and it's not as clear on these icons. But in this case, I just need to show you how this works. Let's say you click on something right here. You can drag it up, drag it down, drag it all the way to the top and sometimes the top is far up or the bottom is like way down here and you don't want to do all the dragging so let's say you wanted to put that on the bottom you can go right up on top you can go move to back right here and that one is no longer on the top it is now on the bottom of your layer list you can take that same one and well let's take another one just for the show just to show it we could take this red one here and you can move to front that brings it right to the top you can take another one and you can go up here and say forward one or back one so there's forward one back one it's basically moving it down the line instead of you dragging uh, I don't really use this I prefer to drag but sometimes maybe you might have a hundred layers and it's much more difficult to do something like that so you might want to be able to do this. For me, for example, if I want to put something like this one in front of this here, for example, actually what I would do is like, I can place one in front of a particular thing like this, like say this one, I want it to be in front of this red. So I, can, I would do Control Command C to copy. No, I'm sorry, I apologize. I will do Control Command X and then I will do control command V and now it's in front. It's, it's, it's a matter of preference. I prefer to use keyboard shortcuts. I prefer to use this, but you can always move things to the back or back one, forward one, move it to the top. So you, this is just a way of moving it around without dragging. And it is good in cases where you don't know, for example, where something is and you have to find it. And there's this long list here. So that could kind of help you. Uh, again, I don't use it, but it is available. So now this part right here I found really interesting because I didn't know about this until I started doing this tutorial. If I'm, if I'm in the middle of any kind of layer in my layers palette and I add a new pixel layer, I click down here below and I say add pixel layer, it adds it right on top of it. But sometimes you may not want to do that. Sometimes you might want to have defaults. So the choices are insert behind the selection, insert at the top of the layer, and insert inside the selection. So if I'm down here, but I really want to add a new layer, and I really want it to be on top of everything so I could work on it, I would have to keep this thing. So now every single time I add a new layer, even though I'm selected here, my new layer is right at the top. So I can, on that layer, I could start painting and I know it's right up on top. And another case would be if I really wanted it to be below everything and I, w I would click this and keep that on and every time I add a new layer, it's below the one I'm on. So, so for example, if I choose this one, I don't even know where it is in my layers palette. Let's pick one here because I want to paint something underneath this red one. If I have my button that said insert behind and now I click it, it's behind. So now if I start painting, I know it's going to be behind that red square because it's behind that layer. And this last one is inside, which is like a child layer. I'm not sure what I would use it for, but if I had something selected and this was on and I it would just basically put it as a child layer and then in that layer I could paint if I want to I guess and I don't even know first let's see what it's a child layer of uh, it's a child layer of this layer so let's see what it does so if I paint here it becomes a clipping layer so that's pretty cool 
So if you wanted a clipping layer and you wanted to paint just inside of something, I can choose this and make sure that inside is selected. And if I put a new layer and then I start painting, it only paints inside that layer because it's a child layer. So that's pretty much it for two bar number nine. It was quick and easy. And if you like this tutorial, please click like and please subscribe. Thank you so much.